Hello and welcome. This is a quick introduction video to AWS SAM Pipelines. SAM Pipelines is a new capability of AWS Serverless Application Model CLI, otherwise known as SAM CLI. It makes it easier to auto-generate secure continuous integration and deployment pipelines for your organization's CI CD system. In this video, I show how to use AWS SAM Pipelines to create a deployment pipeline for Jenkins. Before starting, I already have an AWS account for my development and production stages. I've downloaded and installed the latest version of SAM CLI, and I've created an empty GitHub repository and cloned it to my local machine. I've also had to install a couple of necessary plugins in Jenkins. There's the Docker plugin, Docker pipeline plugin, and a plugin called Pipeline AWS Steps, which contains the AWS credentials plugin as a dependency. Now, on my local machine, first I'm going to create a new SAM application using the SAM init command. This downloads a SAM template that describes an example Hello World serverless application. Now it's time to start building my pipeline template file and to provision the AWS resources for my development and production stages. I do this by running SAM pipelines init with the bootstrap option. This takes me through a guided process to initialize my template and also create the deployment resources needed for my deployment pipeline. First, I have to choose which template I want to use. I choose the AWS Quick Start template. Then I choose which of the CI CD providers I want to create a template for. Right now, I can choose from Jenkins, GitLab or GitHub Actions, and there'll be more and more options coming soon. The next set of questions help me to define my pipeline stage one, which I'll use as a development stage. It also helps me set up and create my AWS resources to run and deploy my pipeline. The first thing that is required is the stage name. I give it the name dev. Then I choose a name profile from my AWS credentials file. I choose the profile name dev, but you might choose default or a different name. Whatever you decide to choose will be the credentials that are used to deploy stage one, or the development stage as we've called it here. Next, I need to specify a region. The next prompt is for the pipeline's IAM user ARN. Since I haven't created an IAM user that the pipeline will use, I choose to leave this blank so that Sam can create it. The same applies for the execution role ARN. I leave this blank so that Sam creates it also, and again for the cloud formation role ARN. The next prompt asks if I already have an S3 artifact bucket to store my Lambda functions and the other application artifacts. I leave this blank to allow Sam to create it. If my application were using Lambda functions packaged as container images, I could configure Sam pipelines to use the correct ECR repository. I enter N since my Lambda functions will be using the zip archive package format. Then I see a summary of the answers I've given and I press enter to continue without editing any of them. Next is a summary of the AWS pipeline resources that are about to get created. I can see it's going to create a pipeline user and a pipeline execution role. It'll create a CloudFormation execution role and an S3 artifact bucket. Before using SAM pipelines, I would have to have created each of these manually. Notice the output in green here. These are the AWS access key and access key ID. It's for the pipeline user that was just created. And these will need to be entered into my CI CD service so that it's able to deploy resources into my AWS account. SAM Pipeline detects that another stage now needs to be created to complete the template file, and this will be used as the production stage. I name it prod, and I choose a name profile called prod for the AWS credential source, and set the deployment region to EU West 1. Just like before, I leave the pipeline execution role on and the cloud formation role on and the S3 bucket prompt empty to allow SAM to create them. And I enter N because my Lambda functions will not be packaged as container image. After a quick summary review, I proceed by pressing enter and I see which resources are about to get created for the prod environment. Notice it's not creating a new pipeline I am user. This is because the one that was created just a moment ago will be given sufficient permission to deploy into both my dev and my prod environments. I press Y to proceed and the resources are deployed into my production environment. Now the walkthrough moves on to finish building the pipeline template file. 
First, I press enter to accept the environment variable name for the AWS access key ID. And again for the AWS secret access key. Then I accept the name for the default branch that I'm going to use for production deployments, which will be called main. Next, I provide the location of my SAM application template YAML file. Now this is located here in SAM-app directory that was downloaded earlier when I ran SAM in it. Next, the template needs to know the name that was given in stage one. So in this example, I named it dev. I provide a name for my application stack when deployed to the dev stage. I repeat the same process for stage two, which in this instance, I named my prod stage. And that's it. The pipeline template file has been created. All that's left to do is provide my CICD service with the correct AWS access key and access key ID. And I can start committing code and watch my deployment pipeline in action. Jumping into Jenkins then, it's time to start to provide it with the AWS access key and access ID values. So from the Jenkins dashboard, go to manage Jenkins and then click on manage credentials. Next, choose the global domain and choose adding some credentials. For the credentials kind, choose AWS credentials. Remember, earlier we set the ID to AWS-access, so input this into the ID field. Then copy and paste the access ID and secret access key values from the SAM pipelines output. When you're done, choose OK. Now it's time to create a new multi-branch pipeline. Go back to the dashboard and choose New Item. Give the item a name and then choose Multi-branch pipeline and click OK. Enter a display name and then connect the deployment pipeline to your GitHub repository. You can do this by choosing Add Sources and then Git and enter the location of your GitHub repo. Finally, the Scan Multi-branch pipeline triggers section. Check periodically if not otherwise and choose a polling period. I choose one minute. Then click Save. Now the deployment pipeline is ready to run. I make sure to add, commit and push my file to the GitHub repository's main branch. And then I can see my pipeline in action. My application has successfully run through the build, test, production and deployment stages. Now there's lots of other ways you can benefit from using SAM pipelines. You could get inspiration for existing deployment pipelines that incorporate AWS best practices. You can also customize and standardize your pipeline templates across your entire organization to incorporate your own governance requirements and share via Git. For more information on how to use SAM pipelines, visit s12d.com slash SAM pipelines.